I welcome you to the M5 World Championship! M5 Group Stage Day 1 was a showcase for the carries. Where we are entering a new era, it is finally time for the junglers to shine again. AP Brand, the Filipino champions, are determined to rile up the home fans with a win against their old rival, Burmese Ghouls. The dreadful Nolan was left open by Burmese Ghouls in both games for Kyle Teasy to take advantage. It's stressful to see. Oh! oh! AP Brand coming in with the Lord, and they are going to take this series in a 2 0 sweep. The home team achieved the opener that they'd hoped. Next, Team SMG tapped on family buffs in a quest to take down the Turkish champions. Fireflux rallied on with a great display from TNZ in both games. The base! The base! Fireflux takes game one! With that, the rulers from Turkey are off to a great start in the group of death. Led by two veteran rovers. The match then turned into a back and forth contest between Nile and Chibi. Ultimately, it was the Malaysian carry that stood on top. The last match of the day, it was all Onik from the get go. Onik, they just have that tiger. Even luck was on their side. No way! No way! The Sky Kings were way too dominant for the Brazilian robots to overcome. We saw plenty of spectacular jungler plays during day one of the M5 group stage. For day two, what else would you like to witness that is better than great? Let's find out. around the world. Welcome back to the group stage of the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M5 World Championship! M5 Day 1 was exciting. Day 2 was beyond madness as we revisited some old grudges. It was an intense battle of wits and in-game skirmishes between the EECA and the North American representatives. What are you doing? Deus Volt showed the Ohio brothers who's boss with a couple of next-level outputs. And Sawo's full damage diggy sealed the deal and avenged their defeat to North American team in M3. Next was another 2-in-1 series, where Team Flash will be taking on Burmese ghouls of Myanmar. This is a disaster for Team Flash! After losing the first game, the Singaporean representatives got the blessing from their very own MPL Singapore host, or the Cheryl Yao Buff, to power through the next two games. And that's Team Flash taking the win! Next, Bigatron Sun's attempt to overthrow the Cambodian champions. But Turtle already gonna be secured by MP the King, now the fight's gonna break out, final slap! However, MP the King was too majestic for the Brazilian robots to handle. Oh, but he's gonna go ahead and get bonked like that. Black's gonna be able to fall. Still Super Uma making his way. He just got the Berserker's Fury, trying to turn the tide of the fight. History repeats itself as See You Soon defeats their Brazilian opponents, just like in M3. The agents have always been the kryptonite for RRQ Akira. Led by Edward, the Agent Zero, the Brazilian champions were read like a book in game one. Despite a valiant effort, the Samba Boys succumbed to the superiority of the M3 champions. What a storyline or plot twist will we witness today? It's time to be better than great. Day three of the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M5 World Championship! We just passed the midway point of the M5 group stage and definitely not short of impressive team fights and skirmishes. 
See you soon if Cambodia did not hold back with their warm welcome for Triple E Sports debut in the M Series. Tier 2 they go, they don't care about these turrets! See you soon if Cambodia did not hold back with their warm welcome for Triple E Sports debut in the M Series. There they go, they're gonna jump in! MP the King able to secure the turtle! Scan Blazing do it with Jose! And now they go in further, another final slap! Oh. The Mano representatives attempted to create havoc with some innovative draft in Game 2, but the Sooners had too much firepower. A clash between Team Flash and Team Lil Gun started with the Singaporean champs taking the first game. But it was all part of the plan for the Mongolian downloaders to adapt and learn. And secure the precious victory. Now we can the play the visuals. And right now, Nail is there. Look, close in front. Milo tries to re-engage. And best player one gets taken down by Marky. Milo nope. in the middle of, all, of it all. Double kill for Marky. And also Next, it was a must-win situation for both Geek Fam and the Ohio Brothers. Super Shark gets taken down. The Ohio Brothers loses the first game. Led by Boloiski, the MPLID first runner-ups dictated the tempo for the series. Killing free by look, game goes over! And eventually took the W. It was a nail in the coffin for the North American representatives. It was an uphill battle for the Malaysian squad to try and topple the hometown favorite, Blacklist International. Oh, coming in, implosion! Yes, sir, thank you very much! It's three men defending for Malaysia! Then, Sasa, the last Kage himself, delivered the first Maniac of M5 group stage to tie the series one-to-one. -one. We're going to game three! However, it was not enough to stop the agents from breaking the code once again. Blacklist International gonna win this two-to-one! Now that we have seen all the teams at the group stage, which eight will be advancing forward and be better than great? Today, we witness world-class action, world-class entertainment from the best MLBB teams. Welcome to M5 World Championships! Day 4 of the M5 group stage was filled with plentiful surprises and nail-biting action. Led by Stitch, the undying Burmese ghouls refused to admit defeat. Stitch! Flying high in the sky gets Ethan as well. The Myanmar representatives pressed on to prevent the Mongolian downloaders from completing their comeback. Ethan gets a third kill as well. Bebek still no. survives. Stitch flickers forward. BG met the condition of winning 2-0 to avoid elimination. Next, Fire Flux Esports started the series with a fiery triumph against RRQ Akira. Oh. Oh. Explosion hits on the screen. Oh. Rosa gets a kill. But the Brazilian kings recomposed themselves and doused the flames of the Turkish representatives with two dominant victories. And proved that they are better than great. Another match, another 2 to 1 series. This time, it's another East versus West between Geek Fam and Deus Volt. With the help of the raging sandstorm to the back, it's gonna be the nature by Carby now with the side of Robin a boy. It was an intense back and forth. Oh, Focus. Yeah. Focus, please. Not... Front, front, kill front. End it! No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Push! One more game, one more game after this. Ah! And things got heated between the two teams. <laughs> Eventually, it was the geeks that came up on top. No, 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 no. And for the last match of the day, 
Triple Esports gave Onik a hard time in Game 1, even when Kyrie got his signature fanny. Onik then unleashed the Gushin mid lane from Gilak Sans to close out the series. There is another! Finally! He gets punished! The group stage is now down to the last two days. Let's pray for more world-class gameplay and be better than great! The penultimate day of the M5 group stage ended with immense emotions and exhilarating gameplay. Team SMG started the series with an incredible defense to prove that they might be out, but they are not done. Team SMG, they start slow, but they finish fast. Look at that, the physical defense shred right onto Louise's Tyrant's Revenge. The Brazilian Sangraha bounced back in Game 2 with tenacity. Oh. Yo, good shot, and that's a double pick up. Takashi once again finds the back, and it is an equalizer. But in the end, SMG staged an epic siege to end RRQ Akira's dream. The knockout 21 of Pro RRQ to the depths of elimination. <laughs> Next up, it was a clash of two very expressive teams in Homeboys versus Deus Volt. With a total kill count of 54, Deus Volt capitalized on Homeboy's mistakes and took the first game. <laughs> Chibi's masterful joy pulled back a game for the Malaysian team. However, Deus Volt pushed on to win the series. The Sky Kings are back in their prime against CU soon. Man, sorry, I'm feeling tries to spend with Darius, but he would secure that lot of the back line. He's gonna get back so quickly. And now CW finds a double. Sans gets a mega one place to win. The Cambodian champions were helpless in fending off Onyx's superior rotations. Venice Ring is not enough in allowing for Kyrie to find multiple kills here on top of the fact that Sans has stolen the decimate to change together. And the MPL Indonesian champions claim the top seed in Group A. Last match of the day, the Filipino champions were looking sharp and ready. We just play, we just play pick off Q, pick off Q, then when we fight stick together, we just TP people. Despite an innovative Louis Yi and Tigreal combo, Team Flash could not overcome the M2 champions. They win the fight, but in the end it's 4 to 0. The Bees flew through the Singaporean squad in style. With four series for the group stage, will more plot twists be coming our way? Only time will tell and be better than great.